Guru is here to frustrate your desire. They are here to frustrate your ego, to frustrate your ideas of how Guru is, you know. Your ideas of how your spiritual path must be. And when you get frustrated in that way, what happened to you? Either you change or you fall back. There's no other way. No? Because you see, everybody wants things to be the way they want. They have their pity life and they have their pity ideas of how things have to be. And they feel good about that. No? But when that is to be challenged, when humility have to be awake inside, who like humility? No. People don't like it. Even when they go on the spiritual path, they think they like the ideas, you know. They like the ideas. People like ideas of God, but they don't like to change themselves. God have to change himself to adapt to you. That's what will be wonderful, no? Yes or no? But he does. The amount of things that he do for you, you are so blind, but you don't see. You blind yourself completely because you are not aware of what he is doing. You are so busy with just the idea of your mind that you can't see. So that's why, you see, different people come to the master and the master will act differently. It's like when you go to a doctor, for example, Okay, a good doctor I'm talking about, not a doctor who I've just learned and just on the theory, that's it, they will just, whatever they have read in the book, they will just throw it at you. No, a good doctor, the moment you go to the doctor, what the doctor tell you? Why are you here? And you said the doctor, if I know why I'm here, why should I come to you? No, you could just diagnose yourself and just take the medicine. So the same way Guru give to different people what they need for their growth. The master don't care about himself. He care for your growth. You have to be to grow. You have to become who you are. Knowingly, majority of the people, they sit in that ignorance. They don't want to change. They are happy into their own world. So that's what the master have to do. No? It have to bring himself to the same level as the people and act accordingly. And accordingly he will act to different people. The same other doctor give different medicine even if the symptom is the same knowing that everybody is a different person and everybody will act differently towards a certain medicine. So like that, the master. How the people have to come to the master, they have to come. Look, I never force anybody to, you have to be like this, you know, you have to bow down a hundred times on the floor and all those things. No. This is our parampara. This is our tradition. Either you adapt to that tradition or you don't adapt to the tradition. Nobody will put a gun on your head and say, yes, you have to do this. So how you approach the master, this is up to you. How you feel inside of your heart, you know, that's how you have to approach. So it doesn't mean that the master will act the same way how you approach. Very often people come to the master in a very, I say, ungrounded way thinking that yeah he will play the same role as me <laughs> because I feel that because he's saying that you know no master will not play your role master will bring you where you have to be even if he have to challenge you he will challenge you so that you be whether you accept the challenge and move forward because very few can really come to that point you know because not everybody will reach to that level. So, in the same way, when you go to exam, not everybody passes the exam. Even despite you 
are studying on a few past exams. So like that, Master also will come to your life in that way. And like I say to you, you see, if you want flattering your ego, go. The market is open. You know, but if you want to really grow spirituality, come to me. I can give you what others can't give you. <laughs>